so I thought I would explain toning a painting. Um, anymore, I tend to just, I'm just going to use this cheap canvas board here. And for my palette, and I'll maybe get some flack for this, I like to t take palette paper and tape it on a piece, a couple pieces of glass. Uh, admittedly, you know, I was working a lot of hours and dealing with the palette, cleaning it up and stuff was being like kind of a deterrent for me for painting. So the palette paper is kind of what's been keeping me going as far as because it's easy clean up, just throw it away when you're done. <laughs> I kind of think if you're interested in saving money, wax paper might be a good substitute. So anyway, got a nice big wad of paper towel here. I'm going to put some Gamasol on it. I already have some paint here. Just going to squish that. Then you just do this. Now the thing with toning is it doesn't have to be completely perfectly even. Texture is an element within art. So if there's some uneven spots or like texture to it, that's actually going to help Maybe add some interest to your painting. Uh, in terms of color choice, now you'll hear lots of different things. I mean, I've heard lots of people recommending more earthy tone things. I don't really have an exact recommendation. My recommendation would be to take into consideration what you want to accomplish within the painting because like different toned backgrounds will achieve different results. So for example, this one was toned in burnt umber. Like I kind of feel like um, the colors are not as like, they don't zow as much to me as what they do with some other colors. I use cadmium yellow, that's what I used here for this. I feel like I, I've got way more intense color with it. I've also used cadmium red. That can give you different results. And if I'm doing a landscape where it's going to be, I know it's going to be kind of overcast, I tend to favor cerulean blue. So that's basically it in a nutshell.